Hi, or welcome to my video. My name is Linda and today I'm going to share with you how to simply and quickly add colour palettes to the palette um, function and make them your favourites. Um, I have two of my favourites. The top one, the blues, are my current planner called the Simply and if I tap on names, the names could pop up there and underneath is my most popular popular sold planner called the Elegant and I'm going to share with you how you can add more colours to your palettes. So um, as a stamping up demonstrator I'm going to tap on my planner and go to stamping up front index and in here are all the colours that stamping up demonstrators use for their cardstock, their inks, their pens and I'm going to put them into their groups subtles, regals, neutrals, brights um, as a palette. So here we go. First thing you need to do, hide names and see that little plus symbol, tap on it, create new with dropper which is the second one down, tap on that and you'll see above that the little pipette has highlighted and that means that it's ready to colour. So if I want to do the subtles first, literally tap on the colour of each round and it will drop it into a new palette. Done. And then to name it, I just tap Subtles, Enter. And that is the palette for Subtles. To do a new palette, hide names, you need to tap out of the palette because this is something I've done earlier and I made the big mistake and I ended up adding lots of colours. Um, to a palette that I didn't want. So just tap on a pen icon and can you see the pipette comes off? You need to take the pipette off or it will keep color, um, taking colours and putting them into your palette. So go back again. I'm going up. So we're now going to do the regals. Tap the plus, create new with dropper and touch each colour and it will give you a new palette. And there we have that one. And if we name it, that's the Regals. Now there is another way for you to um, make a palette by copying and dragging. So we're going to do that now. And I'm just going to uh, screen grab the next colours. Screen grab, um, I've got at the top there, um, is a really handy tool to have out regularly if you do a lot of copying and pasting. So I'm going to tap on hold and copy. Then I'm going to um, use my selection tool at the top right hand side there where I have mine and the lasso in good notes and tap and hold and paste. So I then end up having this little palette. And what you can do is click on the little white button in the center, hold, it pops up and drag it into your palette any way you like and it will give you a new palette selection. There you go. Now just be aware that when it does the palette selection it takes gradient of colours so if it's not just one colour um, and if we zoom up closely you can see there's gradients of grey because I've um, actually brought the palette down but if you've got pure colour it will just give you the one but it's taking every colour from this little palette and it's adding it into this one. So that would be your new neutrals. So neutrals. Now, if you did it this way, um, but you wanted it just to have the 10 main colours, what you would do is go up and you would delete the ones you don't want. So let's say this one here, if I highlight it, if I click and drag it away, it will delete it. Okay, so clicking and dragging deletes. So let's get rid of this green here. This isn't a mossy meadow. Click, drag and delete. We don't want the white. Click, wait for it to pop up and drag it away. So that's how you delete from your palettes. Okay, um, now I find that the other way is my favourite way because you can just tap and you're good to go. So which ones haven't we done? Brights. Just as a refresher, remember to hide names, tap on the plus symbol, create um, a palette with the dropper, then tap 
tap and off you go that quick done tap out so i'm clicking on my gel pen there make sure the pipette is off before you do anything else because otherwise it will keep coloring um i have another one i wanted to show you so let's say you've got a picture and you wanted to use the colors from that picture um in my case i've saved a picture of um the there we are look my most sold planner is this one called the elegant peony so what you can do is just click and drag and all the colors that are in the elegant peony will pop up there and you can do that with any so i screen grabbed my um my garden planner from earlier so there we are as an as a sample oh that's a video i wonder what it'll give me there then so click and drag i wonder if it just give me hmm. huh. it's given me variants hasn't it how brilliant is that so you can take any picture and click and drag it in and you can get any palette that you like or you can use the pipette version hope you enjoy that um, have a little play and make as many palettes as you like see you in the next video thanks for watching bye